This is the cheapest SSD on Amazon. It all started with me mindlessly scrolling through Amazon as I usually do. I was looking for decent deals on SSDs and I found one. Now I've never seen anybody use this brand before. I've never seen it anywhere, but I decided to take a gamble on it. It was the cheapest two terabyte SSD on Amazon and it was a gen four drive. So what could possibly go wrong? So I did what anyone else would do and waited until my birthday. <laughs> Now I will give a disclaimer, I did actually buy this SSD, but I also got it as a birthday present too. But I did put my own money towards this, this won't be skewed at all because it's a birthday present, don't worry about that. But I ordered the SSD and it came in two days and yeah, everything arrived just as it should. If you're interested in what came in the box, it came with obviously the SSD. It came with a handy little screwdriver, which not many other SSD companies I've bought from have included, so that's nice. And then it came with a single M.2 screw to screw down the SSD. I'm actually very impressed with this amount of things that it came with because usually when you buy these cheaper SSDs, it's the bare minimum. It'll come with just the SSD and nothing else. So I will give props to this manufacturer, whoever they are. They include a good bit of stuff and I'm actually very satisfied with that. I did have to transfer quite a few files from my other SSD just because I, you know, the whole reason I wanted to get this SSD was to save space and that didn't take very long at all. Once I had everything transferred, I went ahead and downloaded Crystal Disk Mark 8 and I ran some tests on it. Now I will be honest, I am not a super enthusiast with SSDs. I'm just doing this as more of a general consumer and the speeds seem fine here's the speeds i got with it everything seems to be about as you would expect and while this is a gen 4 drive i'm running it in gen 3 mode but i don't think that would cause a huge difference in speed especially with something cheaper like this but overall speeds are fine i'm, I'm happy with it i'm satisfied with it everything is smooth everything is loading in pretty fast the main thing i got this drive for though was to store games on so let's see how games load on this drive now i am not claiming for this to be the most scientific test possible i'm just clicking the game seeing how long it takes to get to the menu and then how long it takes to get into the actual game. I feel like most general consumers just care about that and you know how much time it takes to load into a game rather than all the nitty gritty details. But I can say I have quite a few games on this drive and nothing seems to be slow at all yet. So that's a good sign. As for the actual numbers, we're seeing about 32 seconds for Resident Evil 4 Remake to get into the menu and six seconds to get in game. Then in Power World, we're seeing six seconds to get into the main menu and only 11 seconds to get in game. Then after that, we have Minecraft Dungeons, 29 seconds to get into the main menu, and 6 seconds to get in-game. Then finally, we have Elden Ring, with 34 seconds to get into the main menu, and 8 seconds to get in-game. All of these results are very acceptable, especially for the price. And yeah, no issues here loading into these games. Overall, very nice experience. Not much to complain about. Now, in conclusion, should you buy this drive? This depends entirely on how comfortable you are buying from brands you don't know about. To ease your mind a little bit, it is stated that this SSD has five years of warranty. So within those five years, you should be covered if you have any sort of issues during general use. But there's still always a risk of buying from these unknown, lesser known brands, especially since they aren't proven in the SSD industry at all. I apologize if this is a well-known brand i'm just really i have never seen it before and it doesn't strike me as the highest quality brand in the world but it was on sale it was a nice price for it and you know if you are comfortable making a decision to take the risk then go ahead it'll probably be just fine as a general game drive or just whatever kind of files you have and it comes with a nice bit of extra things with it like the screwdriver and the screw i mean it's a decent package the main thing to look out for would be how it fares over long-term use but again you do have that five-year warranty if you ever have any any issues with it you can probably do an rma or something like that so generally good deal anyways thank you for watching this video i know it's a shorter video but i just wanted to get something out this week something a little more different trying to review products instead of the usual gaming nonsense let me know if you guys enjoy this video format if not let me know that too please but i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one thank you for watching